Okay, and then how I can replace this Ford Jetek engines, this timing belt tensioner, and its location is in here. And there is first idea, first step, step that I need 13 mm socket, like one three. 13, one three mm socket, and then wrench, and then I open this locking bolt in here inside only a little bit, it is easy to open, now it's loosened and then when I move this my engine in a little bit another position like in here, I can see that there are those two metallic parts and then I can lift that part out in that way and I can actually use my tongs I take my my tongs in my hand, that kind of tongs, and I lift that, I lift that up, and then I have to be some metallic pin or like metallic screw. I can insert that. Now I lift that. And actually, I I take that kind of grip. And then I compress these parts like together in that way. Okay, and then I have this metallic pin and I insert that through in those two holes. And now I think that I can use actually my fingers. It is much easier. Okay, good. And if we if we have Gloves, we can easily fit that tensioner in this locking position. And this position is now position where this timing belt is loosened, that we can take it away. And now we can start this take away in that, that upper area in here, in this area. And now when tensioner is free, we can actually now take this tensioner totally out. And bolt is open and I use my fingers and I take this my tensioner away and look, this tensioner goes in there, there is that metallic pin that goes in directly in here. It goes only one way in here, that position. Look, that part goes in this hole in here. Okay, and now I install, and then these bigger metallic parts comes in here, in that way, in this way, and then this bolt in central. Now it's in position. Okay, now in same time, this my belt, it is very loosened, as we can see, now I can take that, this outer area, in here carefully out and then in this down area also look everything is fine everything is fine and we can check that okay these these markings are okay and then these markings are okay and then when we are installing when we have this new timing belt we have to do when we have like in here when we have this new belt in here, we have to do those same same white markings in this our new belt in here. That then we can use this new belt. But now I have situation that this my belt is it is oh, I believe I think that this is this is almost brand new. There is deco. And it has, and then when I check that another part, this looks like brand new. And then I can install this timing belt back. And now I first look that where are those my markings. And then I have also made this arrow, what means that what is this engine rotation direction. And this engine rotates in that way. And now I check that hey, there is three markings. And in that 
that upper area there was three markings and this means that this part belongs in here but before of that I need to go in this down area because this is this is this most critical and I check that what kind of markings I had in there there are two markings and then one in here okay and then I check that there are two markings and that means that this part comes in that way in there and then then I move that little bit up in this way good and then I take a little bit better view what I am doing and now I am installing these are those down markings and I install it goes nicely in there and then this tensioner this belt comes in here and goes through in that way and then in this up area and now in that position it is good to take this tensioner again totally out that we can install this belt in right now I install first this up area now these markings are in ok and then I check that out is my sprocket fine good and then in here they are also fine excellent and in that position do not move or rotate rotate these parts because then our timing could be wrong and then this down area what is it there the situation when I check that okay I insert that in first in these holes look I check that this belt goes in these holes in that way and then I keep my hand in here and I keep that in small compression and then when we look in this down area keep that in all time in compression and then I go in I go in that I check that where are those my markings okay and now this my look this is bad this is now moving all time and this is bad situation and that's it's good that I have those markings in there that I remember that these parts belongs in that way look this sign in here and then sign this is okay now I remember that okay there are those two parts and in that with that system when I install this this goes in here then I check that that art is my this marking is ok in here they are not I, I think that I think that now I I have to connect now they are right look and I take a little bit closer view 